Good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude business briefing for Wednesday, August 5th, 2020, bringing you every single day ways that gratitude can help you in the business world, managing people, being managed by people, leading, managing, whatever it might be. If you apply an attitude of gratitude, you will have such a better result in the long run, and you'll see just a better performance and interaction with people that you deal with. Today, I want to talk about just a couple of things. Remembering names. It's extremely powerful and extremely uh, important to remember people's names, but how do you do it? I tell, I'm pretty good with remembering people's names, and people say to me all the time, they say, oh, you're good with names. I'm not. I'm terrible. And I tell them, watch your self-talk, because the minute you say you're terrible with names, you'll always be that way. When your mouth is speaking, there's two ears that are listening to that, and that's what they believe. So there's two basic ways to remember names that is very simple, but easy to do, and will at least get you probably half the time remembering names. And if you perfect it over time, it may increase to 75 or even 100%. The first thing, when somebody introduces you, David, this is Sally. Sally, this is David. The first thing you do, you may have heard this before, use their name immediately. Sally, so nice to meet you. Sally, why are you at this conference? Or where did you come from? What state did you come from oh that's really great sally what business are you in use it a couple of times and use it and it'll plant it in your brain to begin with the second thing you do after you use that is name association who would be the first sally that you would think of if somebody introduces me to somebody and they said his name is john the one that pops into my mind every single time for some reason is john wayne it's the first john that comes into my mind if somebody introduced you to me and they i said my name was david Think about the first David you know. It could be a brother or sister or a friend or an uncle or whatever, but the combination of using the name immediately and then all, um, using name association rather will really plant it in your brain and it's really so important. You can also try to remember one personal and one professional thing about them too because that'll sometimes help plant it in your brain. But those two things work really, really well. So uh, try really work hard on the remembering names and, and you can always use the word grateful in there. I'm grateful to have met you today too. So uh, number two, body language. Things have changed a lot in the coronavirus world where we're probably not even going to be handshaking anymore or just to maybe touching elbows. But I've always noticed even when you don't shake hands with somebody, there's kind of that personal bubble. I've measured it out many, many times from nose to nose, and it's about 23 inches from one person's nose to the next. It seems to be about average for somebody's personal space. We've all had people that come in too close and get to us. And it's like, gee, what are you going to do? Like, what's going to happen? Gonna, you might accidentally kiss me. You got to watch out here. And then there's people that are too far away. It's like, what are you doing way over there? So be aware of your body language and kind of notice that about two foot distance from your nose to their nose. And then the final thing for today, we hear this talked about a lot. And certainly when you're grateful and appreciating people in your life, one of the things that's great to adhere to is the golden rule. Now, I think people kind of throw it out, well, we practice the golden rule, but do they really? The golden rule is treating others as you would have them treat you. So if you think about how grateful you are to know these people or how grateful you are to have them as employees or associates or whatever it might be, be sure you are treating them the way you want to be treated and practicing that golden rule will pay great dividends. So that's the uh, daily gratitude business briefing for today. Tune in tomorrow with another briefing and remember, be grateful and never quit.